What's happening, fam? L.A. All Movement still moving. Book is entitled Lessons from a Non-Custodial Father at Amazon, Kindle, and Create Space. A link will be in the description box below, as usual. This video is entitled Fatherlessness in Class. You know, when I think about parenting, and we a lot of us talk about the effects of um, two-parent households and single-parent households and how, you know, two-parent households are normally a better fit, more natural, you know, more ideal. It works better. In single-parent households, not so much. And also the effects of economics with that. Like, you know, you come from a, a better family you have better opportunities to be successful in the future. So the, the thing that I'm about to get into is fathers, fatherlessness is different for different classes. You know, um, think about it. You know, if you can, if a father is, um, can afford overpaying child support, Paying excessive amounts of child support, then you know, he's he has a lot of money or you know good money, and because that other parent doesn't have to work at, or does at all or doesn't have to work that much because they use the child support as a supplemental income, the majority of the time there's less problems. You know, usually those situations get don't get tumultuous in the end unless that other parent is a h horrific spender. And by the time that child becomes an adult, they're basically, you know, a few months away from being homeless. But you don't have as much animosity because, you know, the child support buy, pays for the house, the car, or the kid can... The kid can get their own car, you know, or, or their own clothes, their own bank account, they, enough to put in savings and stuff like that. So, and if the father is there or not, it's, it's less animosity because, you know, don't get it twisted. Like if somebody's not there at all, it's going to create a, you know, there's going to be a lot of angst there. But if the guy's not there, and their lifestyle is good, you know, to a degree, you you can't ignore the fact that even if your father isn't there, what he's doing out in the world is providing you with the lifestyle, the education, um, the, the ability to network, um, the comfort to um, grow in a better environment and thrive in a better environment exists. So you can't discount that. You can't discredit that. And, you know, sometimes, and even sometimes rich kids and and um, well-off kids and their, and their parents would be like, money isn't everything, but you, you, you be real. Then You don't see them giving up the money no time soon, you know. It might create entitlement issues, yes, but comfort nonetheless with less animosity. Middle class, you know, it's a bit of a crapshoot. Now, I'm, and I'm talking more in the ideal sense, but, you know, because there are people who who are wealthy and, and their fathers are, are maybe not in their lives or in their lives and they're still going through issues when it comes to parenting. Middle class is different because... You know the thing about middle class is, it's not a it's not a given that the both parents are in the middle class. You know, and because of that, and it's more of a working a working man's and woman's world. Some people have less struggle, and some people have more struggle. So it creates tension in a relationship. You know, some people like playing games like that. Because there are people 
you know, so so the respect is or isn't there. You know, there are middle class guys who work their butt off and they got to do a couple of jobs, one to, to take care of their kids, one to make ends meet. So, and sometimes he's unavailable. And sometimes there's guys who are middle class and they just pay their child support and go about living their life, which can create animosity. Now, as far as respecting them, that's a crapshoot. And the reason I say that is because, you know, there are those situations where a parent might want to break and want that other person to be in a relationship with their kid and they can't really benefit per se off the totality of the work a middle class man is doing. So, you know, if, if that kid is fatherless, they're going to feel it a little more. You know, and then there are the guys who, who are middle class and who can afford to do any and everything for their kid, but, you know, get stonewalled. And depending on the lifestyle that they live in when they get stonewalled, that can create an animosity and angst. So when there are people who work just fine, it's just smooth sailing all together, no issues, no problems. You know, the kids eating, it's, it is what it is, right? Um, but I gotta say the majority of people in America aren't rich and there's middle class and then, you know, some people in the middle class are poor working class. You know what I mean? They just, they live in check to check, just better than people who are poor. So that's why I say it's a mixed bag and, and last but not least poor. I think poor fathers get, get the worst. You know, because they they can they provide the least, so they're gonna get the least amount of respect. And because they provide the least, and they're gonna get the least amount of respect, they also um, get the most leniency in, in in courts. You know, sometimes guys who are middle class and upper class really get um, the screws put to them. Because of the guys who can't afford to do what they, with with those middle class and upper class guys can do, so it's a unjust way of balancing the um, the um, the scales of justice. But I think about the guys that are poor, and it's all it's it's a for the most part it's a high level of disrespect. For the most part, you know, it's a pay to play situation. You know, because um, because it's about the money, you know, and if the lack of it, the lack of food creates animosity. Now, you know, guys who are poor, in some cases, have more time than, than rich and middle class guys, and they try to give their child as much time as possible. Some Some women are cool with that, some women are not. And I think that's also a class issue because... If the woman's poor like the guy, she might not be as cool with it. If she's middle class, she's living okay with or without the guy. So, she's like, you know, spend as much time with your baby as you can or whatever, you know. And um, because ultimately, you know, they're doing better than he is. So, you know, money um, provides respect also. You know, because as as people get older, if they're richer, they, they, they're like, you know, they try to cozy up and be friends with these people because they can't maintain their lifestyle after the kid at a certain age. When they're middle class, a lot of times you see people, when those kids get grown, try to find somebody to get in a long-term relationship or a marriage with or whatever, and... But they're not going to produce any kids because normally they're too old for that. They just are ready for a real relationship. And I get skeptical of that because I think it's just a supplemental income. Because there's no reason to get married and build a family if you're not building a family, right? Get, you know, you get married to build together, but you're not really building because your kids are grown and you're not having anymore. That's what I'm trying to get at. You know, poor... 
It's like, man, look, I can't wait to get you out of my life. You know, on both ends, but the, the kids suffer. So, you know, I think father, fatherlessness and class make people view fatherlessness differently. So, we out, man. Peace.